Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. We are out here on a polo field and we are here to take care of some Egyptian geese. So sit back and enjoy. We arrived on the farm in the late afternoon because this is when the geese are at their most active. The downside is that we don't have a lot of daylight left and it's also not ideal filming conditions with the sun sitting so low. So we have to move quickly. We've got a big polo field behind us that are suffering under all these Egyptian geese. They are destroying the grass here so the farmer asked us to come out and come take care of a few Egyptian geese. So he's having a nice little braai for us and then we're gonna see what we can take down here. As you can see there's a lot coming in and our main aim is just to get as much down as possible and then he will be happy. All the geese that we shoot are also going for the um, farm workers here and they're gonna have dinner so yeah it's not going to waste and it's gonna be fun so yeah we're enjoying it it's a nice day there's a little bit of wind um, that's gonna make it a bit difficult but we're used to that so yeah let's go our plan was to set up on an elevated spot right next to the polo field and take advantage of the high ground with a nice view of the whole field so we set up the table got the gun ready and took aim at our first target Very neck. Okay, flag. What? Oh, okay. So this is the Impact M3 TRS, the 800 millimeter. Although it doesn't look like an 800, it actually is because this is a brand new silencer developed by Hein Froman, which is actually a muzzle brake built into a silencer. And if you look at this, what's nice as well is that it fits over the barrel so it, it, the muzzle brake brings the air back into the silencer which means the 800 millimeter now looks like a 700 millimeter nice and short and it works really well you can hear on the video as well so yeah this is an excellent system and yeah you're gonna test a little bit more and it should also be a little bit more accurate because that muzzle brake is stripping all that air away In the neck and dead. The gun is tuned to shoot the 34 grain javelins at 1100 feet per second with the hammer maxed out, the valve all the way open and the regulator at 180 bar. The gun is also equipped with a tungsten hammer and slug probe. With the shadows getting longer and light slipping away from my cameras, it was getting increasingly difficult to film with the scope cam, resulting in some blurry footage, so I do apologize for that. I also disabled slow motion to reduce image noise so that I at least have something to work with. Is it starting or still? Not too lucky. Yes, she didn't want to see that any. It's fun, it's not that, man. Yeah. You don't change the actor. Change the actor, yeah. And he's got a cool buyer. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, but the dog and the dog are going to be in the dog. They're going to be in the dog. That's 94 meters again. The trees to the left of us were blocking the wind quite effectively making it difficult to gauge what the wind was doing out on the open field. The wind was very gusty and unpredictable as well adding to an already difficult wind call. Yeah. 91 meters. By this time the geese was quite spooked and they decided to go sit on an adjacent field. So we decided to get up and go after them and even get an advantage of shooting right into the wind. So we are walking out to get closer to the to the geese now that they are on another field back there. And yeah, we can actually feel how strong the wind is now since we got out on the grass here. It's actually much stronger than I thought, but luckily the 34 grain didn't think much of that and it kept straight. So we just held a little for wind and it, it still did the job. So yeah, Maggie's gonna try and see if she can get one down here. It didn't take long for Maggie to find one and she prepared for the shot. Yeah. Yay! Got that one at 132 meters. This time I switched the camera back to 240 frames per second slow motion because Maggie was shooting directly into the sun. The slug travels beautifully and hits him right in the back. 
This was easily the shot of the day and Maggie was extremely proud. She even wanted to go fetch it herself and like a true farm girl gave her final jolt to the neck just to be 100% sure. Maggie walked back like a true champion and the smile on her face says it all. Okay, so that was successful. Maggie got a geese down and we now need to see if we can get him to get one down. So yeah, we've got one on the field over there tracking him so we're moving back to the table this is actually in a nice spot to shoot from the table so yeah let's go when we arrived at the table the goose got spooked and moved away so we had no choice but to wait for the next one so i'm very happy how the gun performed the silencer performed well and yeah there's 34 grains in this wind the wind is pumping and we actually didn't realize how strong it is in the field because we protected behind these trees and the 34 grain seemed to, to hold its own in this wind, which I'm very happy about. And yeah, it's a, just an awesome setup this. And now it's shorter as well with that silencer. That's so cool. I'm extremely happy on how this rifle has now evolved into a more compact but equally powerful setup. The TRS rail from Sabre Tactical combined with the GRS bipod and now this compact silencer make a striking combination. I mean, just look at it. We had to wait for a while, but our patience finally paid off and Yem finally had his opportunity. The goose sat down to the right of us, making the shot a little bit easier because it was downwind, but it meant Yem had to move away from the table and settle himself down on the ground. The light was fading quickly now, so Yem knew this was his only chance and the nerves almost got to him, but he managed to keep it together and made the shot count. The first shot was right in the vitals and it took a while for the goose to go down. So Yem fired a second shot that missed but it was actually not even necessary. Yeah. <laughs> he can't. Oh, sorry, that's 87 meters. <laughs> you could see Yem was extremely relieved as he made his way down to collect his goose and that smile again says it all. The rest of the geese were also collected and it was time for us to put the guns down and enjoy the braai. Yeah, so this is a traditional braai in South Africa. Uh, we use open fire real wood. Uh, it gives a, gives a much better taste to the meat and yeah, the shooting is done for the day. So yeah, now it's for the braai. We spend the rest of the evening next to the fire enjoying the company and making new friends. The hunt was very successful for the little time we had with all of us getting at least one or two down. Not a bad way to spend an evening. Well, that is it. We got a few down. The farmer is happy and we really enjoyed it. It's such a nice location. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe and then we'll see you later. Bye.